in Salt Lake a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, you're right, two changes, but still a 4-3-3 to Amelia. Three clean sheets on the season. Fontes comes into that back line, Remy Voltaire into that midfield for Felipe Gutierrez. He's the guy that will anchor this back line. Trap will captain the side, but of course, this side goes as Reynoso goes. One surprise, Fragapane in for Longwane, and of course, Temu Puki's got 10 goals on the season. So this is the same starting 11 that Sporting Kansas City ran out each of the first two times. They got wins against Minnesota United. But will they get a win here tonight? Once again, it is win or go home. But a giveaway by Tommy. He and Shallow, we got their signals crossed. And it's the dangerous Reynoso. Left footed shot, takes a deflection, forcing Tim Melio into a sprawling save. His cutback deflected, falls to Voltaire. Rodoya. Measures it up. This one takes a deflection and over St. Clair and out for a corner. Good ball movement one side to the other for Shallowy. Scooping it in for Tommy. Oh, what a save from St. Clair. I think he got a foot to it. No, they're going to say it's a goal kick. Jake Davis goes in there and he has made that position his own. Maybe that's one of the last things for him to add to it is a little more danger going forward. Here you see Russell out wide again, running at Gregush. Turning back on his left foot, Johnny Russell slots it home. There's only one. Johnny Russell, Sporting Kansas City, go in front. You're here, one side to the other, shallowy, cutting into the middle of the field. You see Polito trying to get involved, taking care of defenders at that back post. He cuts inside here on Greg Ush and finds that far post with ease. Johnny Russell on that left foot. Finds that far post, beats Dane St. Clair, but again, this was really good ball circulation by Sporting Kansas City. And Johnny Russell getting isolated. And the captain takes care of business. They strike first. Sporty does. Again, these two sides, all they can do here is take care of business. You wonder what it changes for Sean McCauley's side here. In by Shallowy, and it's slotted home by Remy Voltaire. C'est magnifique Voltaire. 2-0 Sporting. Shallowy, the catalyst once again. On this left-hand side, takes his defender down the line. Valentin can't deal with him, and Gregush at the top of the box. You can see Voltaire about 30 yards right down the center of the goal here. He just beats Gregush, turns his head, doesn't know where Voltaire is. Voltaire with the tap-in, sporting Kansas City at the moment, cruising. Sean McCauley's got some things to figure out here. Does he want to stretch this game? Reynoso, Puki, turning, firing, relatively comfortable save for Tim Melia. Nice job here from Tim Puki to turn. He came back to take that away from Trap. Maybe only seconds remaining here in half number one. In fact, that is going to do it for the first half. The second half is underway at Children's Mercy Park in Kansas City, Kansas. Dembe, Tommy, he gets the foul from Will Trapp. It's going to be the first booking on the night. Base that the player has to run into, and that's where Tommy's going. There was a lot of green in front of him, him and Shallowy had an easy touch forward, so Ishmael helped. Shallowy drives it in. Fontas flicks it toward goal, punched away by St. Clair. Tommy chests it down, fires the shot. The offside flag has been up. It's up again. Over to Jake Davis. Now Johnny Russell checking over his back shoulder. Russell, left-footed curling effort. This one just wide of the target. Well, I'm really surprised again. It appears that Bonga Hugle Longwane is set to come into the game here very soon from Minnesota United as we've got a man down on the far side and another booking. Right now it still appears Sporting Kansas City the side playing with confidence and Minnesota conversely the side that seems to be growing in frustration right now. A third booking for Minnesota United. Kid who scored the match winner against Minnesota back in September. Putting it back for Johnny Russell down in the penalty area. He goes. Referee was
was right there. Saw no foul. Kinda putting it back across again. This time, Boxwell tries to clear. Russell blocks it. Russell puts it away. That should just about do it. The captain, Johnny Russell, might have just sent Sporting Kansas City into the postseason. Russell, this is the first part of the play where he thinks he draws a penalty kick, continues the battle, pokes the ball away to Polito. Now all of a sudden he gets on his feet here, a poor touch from Boxall, puts a little bit of pressure on, and really not much else to do for Johnny Russell. The, this effort deserved a goal from the captain, his second of the night, 77 minutes in. Sporting Kansas City look like they're headed to the playoffs here if other results stay. Heroes exit for Johnny Russell in by Reynoso to the back post and this one is blasted home by Michael Boxel. The Loons trying to stay alive here at Children's Mercy Park. Wrestling going on in this box here. Good ball served in by Reynoso to that back post and Boxel just rises above everybody here. See Kyrie Shelton who just came in the game who was falling backwards here, kind of stumbling, doesn't make a jump here, trying to get an arm up. Closed down by Jake Davis once again, but he dribbles into trouble. Reynoso takes it away. Davis is going to be called for the foul, trying to scramble back here for a throw in. And that final whistle could come any moment now. And there is the final whistle. And just look what it means to the captain, Johnny Russell. His brace 